<laughs> now you have four of your own. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same life, not the same struggle. I don't know if you can say it's easier because what you've been through made you hard, made you be able to push through, you know. And so how do you manage, you have three, you have four kids. How do you manage, you know, all four and motivating them and making them say, no, you must go get your own. Well, obviously with my daughter, um, she grew up most of the time with her mother. So, um, <clears throat> and I can see like, obviously there was good values and, and things like implemented there, there as well. Uh, she matric matriculated last year. Um, she's already got a job like now, for now, like in the meantime. A friend of mine obviously arranged it for her. So she's, you can see she's in, she wants to be independent. She's got her learners already. She's been pushing me to take her for her learners. She's doing her driver's uh, courses like now. So she's determined, like, you know, uh, I think there's a little bit of me in her where that is concerned. Like, you know, if when she puts her mind to it, to something, that she wants to do it. Like, and that I can see from her. With the other three, um, you know, it's different, like triplets. Like, I mean, you would think like they would think alike, or but they, each one got their own different personality. So, you know, as you go along, you realize, okay, with this one, you need to deal like that, with that one, you know. But, I mean, I try to kind of instill certain things with them in them as well. Uh, like appreciation, for example, like, you know, because like you said, like now, it's a little bit easier from when I grew up. For the things that they get, like for example, I try to make things a lot more easier for them, but also uh, with an understanding of like appreciation, like, you know, uh, you need to appreciate what you get, what you have. And also, if there is no money, for example, at that specific, specific time, you need to understand and you need to wait until there is when you can get. So those are the kind of things like, and I think they kind of get it because sometimes they would ask me, Daddy, can you buy me this? And I'll say, when, I don't have money now when I do have I will get it for you. And then they will wait. Like, for example, they will remind me like now and then like and when eventually like when the, when I feel the time is right, I'll get it for them and things like that. So, you know, uh, to have that patience also that things just doesn't happen like when you ask for it, you need to wait or you need to work for it. Like, you know, so uh, those are the kind of things. Yeah. What is, what is it like around the dinner table? You know, each one has their own personality. I'm sure they, that one doesn't like that food. That one doesn't like yeah. that food. <laughs> How do, how do you, you make it three pots of food? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that is another thing that I try to explain to them because sometimes like when my mom makes certain food, like they were like, no, nah, I don't like that. Like they'll rather have uh, cereal, for example. So I, like I said, like I always try to s explain to them sometimes like, you know, uh, other people don't have food. Like at least your, your granny is making food, like in whatever, whatever there is, you need to, to eat it, like in whatever, even if you, don't like it or whatever or or you need to say before the time maybe like you know we're craving for this or we're craving for that like last week for example uh i don't know how the conversation came out in the car when i was driving with them and they were talking about uh dal and rice and i was like no but then you need to ask more like you know more must make and then yesterday like when my mom my mother asked me like what kind of food should i make and then i was like well they asked for dal last week and she's like okay i was also thinking about it so they had it like last night and they were all excited like you know but like this specific food that they all like, like noodles, for example, two minute noodles, they love that. Um, every kid like McDonald's, those kind of things, like, you know, whatever. But then there's specific food that they don't eat, like, uh, but I mean, we try to kind of deal with it and manage with it. So if you don't want to eat that, you can have cereal, you can have bread or something. Or 